how are you communicating with clients? That's a key question I want to talk about today because communication with clients is something that's going to help you have a successful experience, not just with the client, but the client with you. So if you're not communicating with the clients from the very beginning, then I would ask you why? What are you what are you trying to accomplish by not communicating with folks? What I an example of this is this. When you don't communicate to somebody and there's a lot of, and you assume that somebody's going to know something or they're going to do something when they come in for your session or come in for their sales session or, or whatever. And then they come in and they have this experience that it's just like, I didn't know I was supposed to do that, or I didn't know you were, we were going to do that or whatever. Then the client is going to have a bad experience from the very beginning, as soon as they walk into your studio and do anything with you. So why why don't you just make it easy for them by emailing them, texting them, calling them, and doing anything you can to help prepare that person to come in so that they can have the best experience that they possibly could have as, when they're with you? Um, it doesn't take a lot of work. It seems like a lot of work when you uh, like look at it and you put it on paper and everything, but it, that 15-minute or 10-minute phone call that you might make with a client is going to uh, be a huge advantage at the end when you get to the sale. So imagine this, if somebody came into your studio and you didn't communicate with them and they showed up wearing baseball hat, striped shirts, um, not shaven, not looking good, the dogs came in and they didn't bring anything to help uh, motivate them or make them happy or whatever, um, you're going to have probably a terrible experience in your first, it, you, as a photographer, when I have that happen, when people come in and they, they look like that, your first thought is like, oh my gosh, why is this person in my studio? Are they really ready to have photos taken of themselves? And it changes your perception of that person right away. But if you did a 10 or 15 minute call before they come in for the session and you say, hey, this is what I recommend you wear. Don't wear stripes or like, you know, patterned shirts because they don't look as good on photos. We recommend dark tops because we do black and white photography. But if you want to do color, you can do this, this, this or this. Um, if you bring in your kids, if you have kids, then bring make sure you have this and this and this so that they um are like occupied and can be excited and can be happy. If you're bringing a dog, make sure you bring their favorite treats. We'll have some treats here in the studio, but we also want to make sure that they're happy with the treats that we, uh, that they, they can, they like and that they might not be allergic to. Um, so tell them to bring all that stuff. So when they come in and like, I love it when people come in and they have all this stuff and if they, especially when they have too much stuff, like it's like, cause then they, you know, they read your emails and they know that they're prepared for their session. You know, when people bring in their, their wardrobe, you're like, okay, cool. Now I have a bunch of outfits to choose from and make this an amazing portrait session. When people come in and they just like have whatever's on their shirt and their back, then you're stuck with whatever they wore that day. And sometimes that can work out for you, but sometimes it doesn't. Um, but if you communicate all that stuff, guess what that's going to do? It's going to lead to a better experience for the client, which is going to lead to a better experience in the sales room when you come when it comes to them purchasing their photos. Because if they're dressed for success, your photos are going to make them look successful, make them look amazing, make them look like the, um, the million dollars that you want them to look like and uh, want them to hang on their walls. So Today, I challenge you, if you are not communicating, I know a lot of photographers are introverts and they don't like to talk to people and there's nothing wrong with that, but sometimes you have to get out of your comfort zone and learn to communicate and talk to people. So if you're not communicating and talking to people, whether it be through phone calls, emails, texts, whatever, do it all. I encourage you to do so, so that your clients can have the best experience possible. And lastly, a little extra bit of information. If clients are complaining to you about stuff when it comes to communication, sometimes you need to listen to it. Now, I say this in a cautionous, cautionary way because we get clients sometimes saying we over communicate to them. But that is such a small percentage of people that don't, like on the opposite side that say, man, your communication is awesome. I'm so glad I got all these emails and these text messages and phone calls and stuff to help me get ready for my session. I felt truly prepared to be in your studio. 
So you have to be able to discern when you should make a change in your business when it comes to communication. Because one person tells you you over communicate doesn't mean that you stop communicating for everybody else's benefit. Because I promise you that one person is probably 5% of your total client base. So be careful when you make those changes when somebody complains. So today, communicate with your clients just as you want them to be communicated to you. So we'll have a great day and I hope you're having a great week. Thanks.